It's the season finale for 1883, created by Academy Award winning nominee and Yellowstone co-creator Taylor Sheridan. And here today from 1883 is LaMonica Garrett. Good morning, LaMonica. How are you? Oh, I'm good. How you guys doing today? Doing great, man. I, I got to ask this question, though. I got to see a couple of episodes, and I'm like, whoa, you... <laughs> Montana, man, how do you how do you handle the dust and the trail <laughs> and everything in Montana? What's going on? It was a challenge. It was I've, I've I've only been that cold maybe one or two times ever in my life. And the wind chill and the just the wind gust and just everything we do was filming outside. We, we weren't in studios. So it was, uh, you know, it was a, it was a challenging shoot, but it looked beautiful in the aftermath that we're seeing on screen. So I guess it was all worth it. It definitely was all worth it. It's so realistic. Lamont, do you think that the West was really that wild based on the, the episodes I saw? Was it really that bad? I, I think it was. The research I was doing for my character, and you go down the rabbit hole and start look, reading other stories about the Wild West, it was lawless. And um, yeah, it's... I think it might have been a little worse than, than what we're showing, but, you know, it, everyone has a beginning. Definitely. So, so here you are, you're this African-American, well, not African-American, you're actually French in this particular film, and, and you're, you're black in this film. How do you think your character would have been treated? Would he, would he have the same respect in the West? Would he have to earn it? What I've been, you know, the research I did about the black cowboys is it was called it was called range equality. And after slavery, a lot of black, a lot of black men and women moved to the West, moved to Texas because your worth was predicated on how well you handled yourself with horses and on ranches. And that's what the slaves did when the plantation owners went and fought in the Civil War. So it was a natural, you know, uh, going to you know, being cowboys. They were cowboys long before the cowboy culture was cool. So yeah, the range of quality, it wasn't 50-50 fair, but it was a lot better than what they were accustomed to in other places in the South. And speaking of coolness, your character is really cool. Let's talk about your character. Thomas, yeah, he's a uh, he's former Buffalo soldier. Um, he wears his jacket with pride. That's like that was something big to him. And he he still cherishes that. It's one of the, you know, the only things that he could ever call his. He was a sergeant in the Buffalo Soldiers and he became a Pinkerton agent. And that's where him and Sam, you know, him and Shay have their relationship kept going from the Buffalo Soldiers. And they've just been on this journey. And yeah, Thomas is as cool as they come. How's it working with Sam Elliott, Tim McGraw, Isabel May? How's it working with all those? They're great people. You know, they're all wonderful actors, Faith, but uh, they, were, they were even better people. And we spent a lot of time together. This is one of those projects where we were all living together, like under one roof. So when we would wrap on the day, we would all come back to a cabin, you know, or somewhere on the ranch and we'd have the same, you know, We'd share the living room, we'd share the kitchen, and we'd all sit around in the living room watching TV or sitting in the dining room having drinks talking about the day. And it was just one of those special projects where we all got to bond in front of the camera and behind it 24-7. And speaking of bonding, what's it like working with Sam Elliott? He's an icon. Like, me and Sam hit it off right from day one. That uh, I met him on the gun range. And he spotted me, he came over, he embraced me, he gave me a hug, you know. And from that moment on, any nerves that I had of working with a Hollywood icon, it, it got left on the grass. And from that moment on, we've been inseparable in front of the camera and behind it. Like this, this past weekend, I was just at his house and we were hanging out for a while and just talking about how great of an experience that this is all has been. And we're all brothers, you know, we're all family now from it. Last question I want to ask you is, because I thought it was very interesting. Did you have to learn how to ride a horse or did you already know how to ride a horse? No, I, I was familiar with, uh, with walking on a horse, you know, like a light trot. I've done that before, but really getting after it and loping. Cowboy camp helped all of us really learn the cowboy culture and not just riding, but roping, riding wagons, uh, 
weapons training, um, herding, you know, herding uh, cows. And it was all that was cowboy camp. It, it wasn't me before then. It was, uh, yeah, cowboy camp was pretty rough, but it, it helped. Cowboy camp. I like that. Cowboy camp. We've been talking with LaMonica Garrett, and we're talking about the season finale of 1883, streaming on Paramount Plus. And I talked to Isabel May, and she said she had to get used not only to the weather, but to the dust and the realness of where you guys were. Same for you? Yeah, I, I might still have red dirt in my ears from Guthrie, Texas. <laughs> and that wind picks up, and it gets into places that you didn't know dirt can get. <laughs> um, it was everywhere and it was real windy. Amarillo, Texas, like it's a uh, windstorms and the, just the dirt and the, it was just, yeah, the weather conditions. Usually you're shooting in a studio somewhere, but not 1883. We were, we were outside for a majority of the shoot. And, and that's what Isabel was telling us too. LaMonica, thank you again for joining us on Morning Blend. Thanks for having me.